Hey guys, uh, it's Kadma back again with Apples on the Go. I don't know if you guys have uh, realized this, but um, I was at a convention uh, out in New Jersey and I came across Brandon Fiadino. And I apologize if I butchered your last name, but I came across this really cool comic book called Chicago typewriter now um when he was telling me about it, i was very like drawn in because his table was beautiful he had a tommy gun on the table and i was like oh my god i have to go over there and talk to him uh so i went over to my did the interview and i got the book and i just wanted to tell you guys i finished reading it and i think the book has been an absolute blast um i've enjoyed a lot uh a lot of a lot about this book uh so just to kind of sum up uh what this book really is about it's about an italian mobster gangster you know think uh you know the the bad guys you know uh whether it's uh dick tracy if you're thinking the italian mobsters from the shows that you like to watch now um that's who this guy is so he's an italian mobster um who's running the streets of chicago but during his time as a criminal he basically ends up encountering demons so he realizes that he's not the big kahuna of this whole town so he starts encountering demons starting to have to deal with them and emilio enzo which is the lead uh protagonist um because he's in these very like in-depth battles with these demons and the underworld that's really ruling chicago uh, his girlfriend as punishment her soul gets taken um, They are straight up sleeping in bed and they're just like <gasps> soul gone um, so um, Emilio Enzo isn't having it. Uh, no one messes with Emilio Enzo um, And it's sort of uh, kind of cool because it has like I guess the romantic aspect that I like of romance um, I mean you're looking at a girl who likes uh, Buffy because when Buffy had to sacrifice Angel her true love in order to save the world and kill him I was like oh my god I was in tears um, so for me um, something with all this craziness attached to it I was like oh this looks like a fun story uh, it's the way romance should be done none of that like you know yeah, stuff um, but anyways um, I think what Brandon uh, created for this book is actually really beautiful so as you get to know um, Emilio Enzo you learn about his history kind of like what he had to deal with um, growing up you know uh, dealing with these battles and trying to get closer to getting his girlfriend's soul back so Catherine that's his girlfriend's name um, that would be this lovely lady here um so when her soul gets taken Emilio's doing everything that he can to find uh, a way to get back to her so we end up going through the nine circles of hell and I, I don't want to tell you what the nine circles of hell really is so i would much rather you guys actually read it um but he goes through the nine circles of hell uh obviously of course a big hint to uh dante's inferno um just to kind of like get more information uh he's at shops where they're like selling supernatural uh products like things about a writer called remy garo which you can think of as like as edgar Allan poe on acid this dude is like into satanic rituals demonic stuff and he's putting all this into his writing and um it's it gets it gets really intense i don't want to give away uh the ending um but when he encounters on this journey just to get his girlfriend's soul back he's he's fist fighting with demons like straight up brawling like you know like it's kind of cool um and he ends up discovering uh when he has remy garo's uh typewriter uh that someone in the underworld knows where his girlfriend's soul is so what ends up happening is he finds ways to actually get into the underworld uh, which obviously you can only think of this only but so many ways you can go uh, so while he's there he has his own uh, henchman if you will uh, you know uh, waiting for his minions and they're at the graveyard waiting for him now for some people who may not realize this like back in the day uh, when people were very paranoid about the dead coming back to life like whether as a vampire zombie whatever the case may be um, they it came to the point between that and then the fact that some people were accidentally buried alive they put bells on the headstones so if someone was uh, uh, alive and not dead they can ring the bell so people can get out because there were too many people just dying and they were finding claw marks inside the coffin so um, he kind of tips his hat over to that thing which I thought was kind of cool uh, about Brandon and 
um, the way how he wrote that into the character, how that like he rings the bell in order for him to come out once he's uh, found what he's looking for from the underworld. Now, Emilio Enzo is like your classic uh, Italian mobster, gangster, um, I guess, um, romantic sense, the way how readers or people who are, who are not of that lifestyle tend to look at it. So Emilio Enzo is this hardcore, uh, really tough Italian guy and he's not playing. He wants his girlfriend's soul back. Like, do not mess with Emilio Enzo. Um, so, uh, his character is, is, is very badass and you get a feel for, um, I guess the Italian mobsterness by the way how the dialogue is actually written in the book. So when you're dealing with someone who's uh, of a different uh, nature or Russian rather, you see that the words are written very differently. So you're reading the characters uh, dialogue the way that the writer intended you to actually read it, which I thought was kind of cool and pretty funky. Um, it allowed me to really differentiate like this is so-and-so and this is exactly how he sounds and this is how so-and-so sounds, which is pretty funky. Um, Emilio Enzo is also very uh, goal-oriented and I like the fact that he's a simple man and he's stuck on one goal. I want my girlfriend's soul back. He doesn't deter off the path. He doesn't um, do anything like, oh, I gotta go over here. It's not so stretched out that you're like, wow, okay, where's this going? You know exactly what the guy wants to get done and no one's getting in his way. Like he's going um, to get this done. So do not get in the middle and those way. Um, and the other thing that I really did enjoy about the book was actually the artwork because I felt like, uh, and this is Hades, by the way, Hades is mad hardcore. Um, this is when he's visiting the nine circles of hell. Now, what I liked about the artwork is that it felt very, um, it made me drawn into the storyline. So I felt like I was watching my favorite old, um, you know, shows come to life, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, cause sometimes when I read certain like comics or mangas, depending on what it is, um, either there's too much detail, um, and I get distracted because the artwork's so beautiful and it's so detailed and I, ooh, with this, I felt like I was looking, um, in a mirror. That's actually one of the demons. He like straight up beats up. This dude is mad at Emilio and sends a demon after him and this demon gets his behind. Um, so, um, uh, the artwork I thought was it was very smooth it was beautiful and it made me feel like I was in the storyline I didn't feel like whoa I'm reading a comic book or a graphic novel I didn't feel like that I felt like I'm reading an, a story in depth and I want to see what happens I want to I want to know um so I think what they did is an absolute beautiful job I'm not gonna give away the ending because I think the ending's pretty funky um on who the real villain is of the story um but it's it's so much fun. It's it brings a whole other element and light to the supernatural world for those who love like Dean Winchester. And you're like, oh, that's so amazing. Um, it brings a light uh, to that sort of world, um, but differently. You have like the Italian mobsters taking on um, the underworld, which is kind of cool because in a light undertone, a lot of uh, mafias were created because uh, the government was corrupt. So whether you're looking at the Yakuza, whether you're looking at the, the triads, the area was corrupt and uh, mafias were created because someone needed to protect the people. So once again, you see this mafia mobster boss um, who's taken out all these other you know crime organizations and he's the one running things. And here he is once again, uh, sort of bringing back that... Um, that element of protecting the people but first he's got to get his girlfriend's uh, soul back um i think it was uh a lot of fun uh to read i started to like google who remy guru was i was like who is this i need to know is this person real like it um i found myself very drawn in and i did not want to put the book down um i think the graphic novel is absolutely beautiful and i would love to see it um uh, like in like a really cool like Netflix film or something, you know get like a really cool like Italian mobster uh, Looking actor to like really bring it to life. I think that would be incredible um, I would recommend the show so if you see you know you go on to Amazon go to where you can buy your uh, you know your uh, your graphic novels and make sure you look up Chicago typewriter uh, It's a lot of fun 
um, it's it, it was worth me getting and Brandon thank you so much that book was so enjoyable but I now just so you know Brandon I want to know more I want to see Emilio Enzo go on um, you know more adventures I want to see more I really do I want to know how that conversation with Hades goes when he realizes that the book he was supposed to return back to Hades is probably not in his hand. Uh, <laughs> I just want to know how that conversation goes. I want to know what happens when other uh, demons and ghouls realize that there's a big player in town who's taking them out. I want to see what happens to the town. I don't know how he got that car. I love that car. That car flies, man. Like, that is so freaking cool. It's a timeless piece and... Although the aim seems to be like 1920s, there's so much happening that you're just like, this isn't just a 1920s, like this is a timeless area and I need to know more about it. So Brandon, please do, like I wanna, I, I really wanna see more uh, uh, in regards to Emilio Enzo and who doesn't want a more Emilio Enzo? That character is so badass, he really is. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying my Apples on the Go uh, book reviews. I've been reading a lot of books but I hadn't gotten the chance to actually do these reviews. So. Um, let me know uh, when you guys get the book, uh, get Chicago Typewriter uh, graphic novel, and let me know what you guys think, what you guys think of Emilio Enzo. And of course, um, if you like all these Apples on the Go book reviews, make sure you download the app called Clip Kick. Uh, links will be down there in the description. And uh, what this beautiful app is, it's an app that allows you to save any of your favorite online videos. And when I say any video, I mean any video, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Musical.ly, uh, Instagram, TV, Twitter, wherever you saw the link, you can save it all in one convenient location. You're not using your phone memory to save all these videos, you have to download and do all this. You can just save all of your favorite online videos in one easy location. And also by downloading the app, you're actually supporting Bit and Apple TV, which allows us to do more things, more shows, um, go to more events, get more books uh, for more reading. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Be sure to um, comment because we do need feedback. And if there's a book you want to recommend for me to read, I will be up there for the challenge. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. And make sure you get yourself a Chicago typewriter and the Tomica. Too much? Bye.